Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, looks like we're back now for another lovely stream here of Hogwarts Legacy. As always, a pleasure to see y'all here and enjoying the stream. So let's get right into it. Oh, if you haven't already and you're new to the channel, uh, go ahead and follow so you know when you get uh, the notifications. You know, when I'll be streaming again. And I greatly appreciate it. So, that said, let's jump right on into it and get going here. Ugh. How's everybody been this weekend? <laughs> I know it's been busy. Um, I went and saw Barbie. And I will say... 9 out of 10. Not the best movie I've ever seen, but it had me laughing. Laughing so hard. It was so good. So, that said, you know... Hmm, so good. Uh, let me take a moment here and let's chat up here on my window, my secondary laptop here. For some reason, it's not popping up. There we go. Pop out. There. Yes, yes, it's working. Let me get it over here and boom. Done. Done. Oh shit, tie wing. Alright, and then slide that back over so I can see activity feed. Yep, yep, ready to go. Good, 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 good. Here we go. Loading right into it. Hmm. Alright. Oh. New quest available. What quest do I have? Let's see. Quests. Meet with Poppy. That's Fire and Vice. What is this? Professor Howland's assignment. To learn Bombarda. I need a... A dairy cow? Dairy cow with a knapsack. Where the hell are the dairy cows at? Speak with Sebastian and the Undercroft, and then speak with Deke. Uh, in the room of requirement. I'm gonna go speak with Deke in the room of requirement. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, wait, hold on. Back? What, uh, what is this? They got side quest there. What, what's the side quest here? Hold on. Is that Summer's Court? I am so tired of that game. Library Branch. Beating a curse. Oh, funny play on words. Rumor has it Samantha Dale is having a problem with her brother, William. I ought to see if I can help her. No, oh, detour. Let's go and do this side quest right quick. Get it knocked out. I don't know what the conjuration could be, but I'm going to go snag it. So, travel to the uh, herbology wing. Or as I like to call it, the botany layer. Garlic's botany layer. Mm -hmm. no, what? Not gonna wait? What? They could have used the time I took to travel to wait. Wait. Yes. This game. Uh, thank you for your persistence and cleverness. I confronted Piers about it, and he confessed straight away, the old rascal. <laughs> We've agreed to let bygones be bygones. Uh, don't forget to say hello the next time you're in the Three Broomsticks. Thrilled to be back there again. Okay. Samantha, is everything all right? No, no, it's not. It's my brother William. The one I told you about after charms class. He's... he's been cursed. He ignored my warning and now he's lying in St. Mungo's looking completely pathetic. He simply never listens. I'm sorry, how exactly has he been cursed? Oh, you won't believe it. Truly, but his feet were turned into purple beets. You can imagine his distress. And mine. I won't even go into the attention he was getting from our garden rabbits before he admitted himself to hospital. That's hilarious. Beats for feet. <laughs> How hilarious. 
I mean, how, how terrible. Horrible, truly. You and the entire school may find it funny, but the situation is dire. Well, it is an unusual situation. How did your brother end up like this? It's entirely his own fault. I told him about some research I'd done recently on our ancestor Marmaduke Dale. In particular, my discovery that Marmaduke's tomb was cursed. Is that a great day? My brother's always making fun of my discoveries. This time, he laughed in my face. Told me I'd misinterpreted my findings. As if that weren't possible. And to prove his point, he went right up to the entrance of the tomb and poof! His feet transfigured into beets. He clearly needs help. How awful. I can see why you're upset. He definitely needs some help. Exactly. He may be a cape flapper, but he's still my brother. And no one deserves such a fate to last forever. Cape especially flapper. as the result of a single brainless mistake. Now I worry that if the curse isn't reversed, it could become permanent. Can't the curse be broken? Possibly. The curse stems from a crest that was stolen from Marmaduke. If the crest were returned to its rightful place upon his sarcophagus, then I believe that William's feet may be restored. You battled trolls when they attacked Hogsmeade, escaped a dragon, and I could tell by your work and charms that you're a skilled spellcaster. Returning a crest to a sarcophagus should be almost effortless for you. So, will you help us? So, their ancestors are great, dang. And her brother's feet got turned to beets. No pun intended. And uh, she thinks returning a crest, a family heirloom, back to the, back to the sarcophagus would fix her brother's feet that are currently beets. Hmm. Why was Marmaduke famous? Well, he was a comic strip. Why is your ancestor so well known? He discovered the properties of several magical herbs and plants. He also uncovered numerous types of flora. The wizarding world owes him a great debt. His work not only impacted the discipline of herbology, but also potion making. Fake news, he was clearly a great dang in a comic strip. If I help, will my feet become beets? That would be an awful treat. I couldn't go down the street when my feet got turned into beets. How do you know it's safe? I don't want my feet to turn into beets as well. Oh, but the curse only applies to Marmaduke's descendants, as my brother so aptly demonstrated. That's why I need your help. You're unrelated to my family, so the curse wouldn't affect you. Would my street treat beat beat? Hmm. Where did where did the street beat curse come from? Why was Mom Duke's tomb cursed? The curse is the result of an intense sibling rivalry between Granum Dale and his younger brother Marmaduke. Marmaduke was a famed herbologist, and Granum resented the attention that he received. Sibling rivalry? Sounds as if it might run in the family. But I would never intentionally curse my brother. Not like Granum did. When their mother died, Marmaduke was given the prized family crest. Granum felt that as the eldest child, he should have been given it. Years later, when Marmaduke died, Granum stole it and cursed the tomb so that none in the Dale family could ever pay their respects. I guess. I can take the crest to Marmaduke's sarcophagus for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. You'll simply go into the tomb where Marmaduke was laid to rest and place the crest on top of his sarcophagus. According to my research, the tomb's been abandoned for centuries, so it should be a fairly simple task. You'll find it just east of the hamlet of Brockborough. Thank you for your help. My family is indebted to you. Okay. The uh, world map. Where is it at? Whoa. What? That's way out of my way, girl. Shoot. You lucky I can fly. Lucky. I need 
to find the tomb near Brockborough and place Samantha's family crest on a sarcophagus there. Oh wait, no. Let me get down. I want to fly. That's true. Ah, there you are. Away! Mm, I feel like a broom would be faster. But it's definitely not as cool. Oh, now I can see hippogriffs. And Thestrials on the map. I wonder if I can get a dragon. Oh, that would be cool. the balloons like this with a thestro nope mm, shit oh yeah I can I can't make any sharp turns nope mm. eh two out of three it's terrible a D student looks rather dark in there yeah, as I run right into the wall before. oh god get you To the tomb, the Dale family tomb. Well, great to that. Rest in peace, number three. Mm. Well, my feet didn't turn into beads. That's a good start. Abandoned for centuries, did her brother light these fires? Is out here. Hold Rebellion. on. Should have yeah. known a herbologist would use Devil's Snare. Oh, well, that was just a shortcut then. Whatever. Lumos. Uh, nope. What? Confringo. Not to say what? Rebellion. How dare you tell me I can't go there? change that's okay hmm. rebellion no seriously why did the music change no lord you mean to tell me I've got to go the other way. This way. This is the way I've got to go. Lumos. A troll? You can't be serious. Wait, how did their brother get past the troll? Expelliarmus. Confringo. Hmm. Arrest the momentum. 
Are you kidding me? What nonsense is this? Hmm. So you're just not even gonna register that I'm pressing buttons hard. Are you? Keep, keep. Are you going to? Huh. Whip patrols. Confringo. Crucial. Defendo. Akio. Tabolso. Descendo. Glacier. Well, there's that, but hold on. Flip the troll's club into its face. How the hell do you flip the troll's club into its face? Is it because it bounces off of Protego? Maybe? That sounds about right. I'll have to try that. No, oh, wait, where did I come from? Wait, hold on. What? Oh, that's where I came in at. Okay. Right there. Roll, you gotta be kidding me. Blah, 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 blah. Let's get up there. Best to go down there. Let me. What's up here? That took me back there. Well, Marmaduke certainly left behind more than plans. Rebellion. Okay. Wait, there's a bag. Get the bag. The bag. Boss, get the bag. Hmm. This should be the end down here. There ain't much else to go to. Uh. Sarcophagus. This must be Marmaduke. Hmm. That should reverse the curse. Hopefully. Right. Well, my feet are not beat, so I'm good in the streets. I just noticed something. Wait, my mic is working. Okay. Thought maybe it wasn't working. I guess not. I guess it is. Return to Samantha. What is she doing outside a tomb? Crystal clear. Okay. Alrighty. I didn't get a response for all my cool street beat treat bleep stuff. You know, the puns, the rhymes. I do it all the times.
Samantha will be glad to hear that the crest has been returned. I certainly hope it reverses the curse. Oh, look at the pumpkins. I don't really need pumpkins. Oh, that's a pretty red one. I want an owl. Look at the owl. Hmm. Wait, hold on. Where is... There's a quest here in this little town? Hmm. Okay, well... I'm gonna take care of this little quest. This little town. Where can I get a Derrico? Mooncap Den. Hippogriff Den. Mooncap... Un unicorn den I can get a unicorn does a unicorn fly okay jabbernal niffler giant purple toad giant purple toad field guide pages infamous foe where is Puff skin? Hold on. Where's a fairy cow? Is it because they're invisible all the time? I gotta go to the astronomy table too. Uh, Puff skin, Niffler, astronomy table, Puff skin. Giant purple toad. There we go. Dairy cow. No, I did not say dairy cow. I said dairy cow. Okay. No, stop. I want that. That's a flooper again. I need floopers. Okay. Well, let me go get... Because I can get... Okay. Do this little quest here and then go get a dairy cow. At least be efficient. Yeah, the broom's faster. Oh shit, oh, I wanna go back. Wait, make sure I don't miss it. Go that way. Oh, if you miss one, if you miss them you, and you go away, you have to do them all over, all over again. Wait a second, where's this town at? Is this it? Jesus Christ, that's a small town. Parkour. Oh, be strong, Alexandra. Is everything all right? If the Hamlet sent you here to talk to me about... about... I know what I have to do. It's not every day a girl has to put down her own troll. I should be allowed to work up to it. What do you mean, your own troll? I thought that's why you were here. I'm sorry. <sighs> I suppose if you spend enough time with trolls, you forget your manners. I'm Alexandra. I didn't mean to be short with you. With Ranrock's lot seemingly everywhere, I thought the Hamlet could use a bit more security. <sighs> But my plan has gone awry. I apologized when he almost trampled half the hamlet yesterday. He just needs more time. But everyone wants him gone. They think it's mad, my training a troll. Impossible, even. It's brave of you to try. It certainly takes a lot of courage to try, I'll give you that. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Thank you for saying that. I wish others felt the same. 
But I suppose I understand why everyone's been so concerned. <gasps> what made me think I could train him? I should have learned from Barnabas the Barmy. But he's my troll and my problem. I'll be honest. I'm afraid I won't be able to take care of him. He's stronger than any troll I've ever encountered. <sighs> I wish I knew someone else who could do it. Ooh. You need an innocent creature that you took out of their natural environment and brought into civilization killed? Yeah, well, let me tell you about a special deal I've got. Ugh. By the way, who's Barnabas the Barmy? Who's Barnabas the Barmy? Surely you've seen the tapestry of him at Hogwarts. It hangs in the seventh floor corridor. He allegedly tried to train trolls for the ballet. You can imagine how that turned out. Trolls for a ballet. Yeah, they're not the most graceful of beings. So, yeah. What were you training the troll to do? What exactly were you training the troll to do? I was hoping to train him to serve as protection for us. Frankly, I struggled to teach him even a word or two. Couldn't give him even a semblance of self-control. Hmm, perhaps I can do it. I'm not thrilled at the prospect, but I'll consider it. Oh, no. I didn't mean to suggest that you should do it. In fact, you should avoid the area just southwest of here. At least until I work up the courage to do what needs to be done. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I wouldn't insinuate that you should do it, but avoid this area right here specifically. Troll right here on the map. The you know what? Right there. The you know what? Let me put it up on your tracker and mark it for you so that you know not to go there. Ba -da -ba -da. Man, what's this other quest right quick? Hold on. Mm. I'd be terribly grateful if you could help me and my friend with a time-sensitive delivery. Whoa, a letter from Bernard Naday to Eddie Thistlewood. Eddie, the Goblin rebellion at Rebellion's attack on Feldcroft are becoming more frequent. They seem to be searching for something. It at least... I failed to find another reason why they would target our little hamlet. Regardless, trade is suffering and the people are struggling. Feldcroft could certainly benefit Hello. from your creativity you and optimism. Time to help with an urgent delivery? Right now. You always seem to have the cleverest ideas. Any suggestions, my friend? I'm not sure how much longer Feldcroft can survive. Yours, Bernard Nade. Mm, let's see. A talk. You sound as if you could use some help. Oh yes, I could. Eddie Thistlewood's the name. A dear friend of mine in Feldcroft is at his wit's end due to the relentless attacks on his hamlet by Ranrock and his loyalists. I sent two crates of Chinese chomping cabbages to help, but they've gone missing. Can, can you cut to the chase? What do you need? You sent cabbages to fight goblins. You sent crates of cabbages to battle Ranrock's loyalists. I did indeed. You see, I know plants, and I believe the goblins will be so irritated by the onslaught of ferocious vegetation, they'll simply leave Feldcroft alone. Uh, I wonder if you might track the two negative. crates down and deliver their contents to my friend Bernard Indiai. I simply can't leave my shop at present. Indiai? Indiai. That was his name. The letter N, the letter D, the letter I, the letter E, pronounced out. N -di N -D -I -E. Who comes up with these names? Might as well just name him NDA. <laughs> non disclosure agreement. Where would you think the crates are? Any idea where I might find the crates? Yes. From what I hear, one was spotted south of Feldcroft. The other, so I hear, is south of Brockborough, near the river. Uh, can't you grow new cabbages? It only takes like 15 minutes. Could you not grow or buy more Chinese chomping cabbages? I suppose I could, but that would take time. Time we do not have, what with Ranrock's thugs posing new threats every day. Besides... It's the principle of the matter. I grew those cabbages and they are extraordinary. They are extra 
ordinary. Why do the goblins attacking Felcroft? Why would the goblins target Feldcroft? My friend Bernard says they've been seen in the area for a while. He seems to think they're looking for something, but lately they've become more aggressive. Very well, sir. I shall keep an eye out for two crates of Chinese chomping cabbages. Oh, thank you. I shall let Bernard know he might be receiving those cabbages after all. Yes, he wears. What do you have for sale? I'm convinced that Feldcroft will be much safer with Chinese chomping cabbages defending them. Uh, there's two right here. Sounds like Feldcroft's in trouble. Perhaps I should try to help. I'll be able to put that to good use. It's all garbage. Garbage, garbage, garbage. Uh, that's mid garbage. Wait, hold on. That's actually better than what I have. Uh, I guess I can use that piece. Hold on. What is that? Thank you. I hope to see you again soon. Oh, Lord. Rebellion. Mm -hmm. Wait, how the hell? Oh, it's up there. Wait. Are you kidding me? Come here. Wingardium Leviosa. Mm. Oh, excuse me. Levioso. Hmm. Alohomora. Uh, hold on. Why did they go winter time and then now the locks look like crap? Is that supposed to represent frost? Hmm, a letter from Helen Thistlewood to her brother Eddie. My dearest Eddie, I was so pleased to receive your letter. It has been too long since I've been home. You may be interested to know that my time with the ministry will soon be coming to an end. It seems they forced me to an early retirement, and there's not much I can do to change their minds. No matter, in all my years as an oar, I have I've seen over and over again how those at the top are more interested in preserving their place than actually serving those um, about them. Serving those about serving those about them? Oh, that sounds weird. But that's enough of that. There will be time enough to tell you the tales of my life out here in the great big world when we meet again. You'll be happy to know that I'm coming home soon. Although I am thinking of settling in Upper Hogsfield upon my return. Still nearby. So uh, I intend to enjoy the time I have left. There are still mysteries to solve after all. Ever your sister, Helen Thistlewood, London. Eat the candy. Oh wait, no, that's damn it. Revelio. That was a waste. Collection chest. What is this? Unidentified bag item. Alright, well I guess I can get out of here. Where is the field page? Hold on. Why is that guy what do we have here? like that? A demiguys. Yeah, that oh, I don't want to collect any more demiguys. I only did it to get a little more. Chances, Scarecrow. 
Well, there is a chest in here. Let's go grab it. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. I had a fellow from London tell me yesterday he didn't really have pubs out here. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it looks like the quality of this lock has completely dropped. Why has that changed? Eat the cashews. Chest, chest, got the chest. Revelio. Where the heck? Those that go to Azkaban never had a chance in the first place. I know a Merlin trial when I see one. Mm -hmm. Ah, Rockborough. Always a lovely place to visit. Rebellion. What is this? Muffins. I hope to give my son the same kind of happy childhood we had. You don't need barrels of chocolate frog for that. Okay. I guess now I can take care of this troll. No. Why is it? Oh god, it's tracking way down there. No, I need this. There we go. Crack that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I take it you're Alexandra's friend. Oh shit. God damn it, I was Are you kidding me, chat? Where was the last checkpoint? I'm thinking. Deep, deep in thought. Where is it at? Oh, right where I landed. Okay. I take it you're Alexandra's friend. Mm hmm. Crucio. Defender. Stupid one. Oh, wrong one. Expelliarmus. Defender. Arresto momentum. Protego. Stupid one. Wrong button. Hmm. I'm gonna have to stock up on more. Confringo! Expelliarmus! Protego! Confringo! Expelliarmus! for Alexander, but the hand that needed to be saved from that troll. Revelio. Hmm. Troll lesson plan. Week one. Social graces and etiquette. Please, thank you. Pardon me. Sorry. Week two. Elocation. Elocution? Elocution. The witch went flying for the snitch and fell in a ditch. Week three, 
security training. Oh. Pro progress notes. Week one. Etiquette may have been too ambitious to s at a start. It seems we must first cover the fundamentals of not smashing. We'll keep this in mind, but proceed to week two. Still vicious. Only produce a string of grunts. Still vicious. He has the right temperament for it, but lashes out indiscriminately. Somehow more vicious. Oh god. You... That was an utter failure. What the hell's over here? Uh... It's a puzzle? Akio! This castle's hiding all sorts of secrets. Hmm. Levioso! Uh... Depulsa! Descender! Glacius! Incendio! Mm. Uh, okay. Stables. Uh. Yeah. Oh God! It ran. No, out. you don't. Shit in here. Maybe there's something outside that I'll unlock later. Don't know, but until then, there is a magical trace down here. Yep, yep, yep. Magical trace. Oh, and shit. Expelliarmus, Confringo. Ugh. Shame you're so foul. Confringo. Oh Lord. Come on, recharge. Glad I was never locked up here. Oh shit. Akio Levioso Expelliarmus Good Fringo Flopendo Arresto Momentum Expelliarmus Oh, 
hold on. Am I missing a piece? I am missing a piece. Hold on. Where is it at? It's over there. Hold on. Where is it at? Revelio. Oh, it's up there. Uh, how do I? He's cake. He's crumb cake. Once I figured it out, it was easy. That wasn't too hard. Nice. Return to Alexandria. I hope you avoided my thrall. <laughs> uh. It's done, Alexandra. I took care of him. My thrall? What? Oh, I don't know what to say. Thank you. I wish things could have turned out differently for him. You, uh... He technically wasn't yours at all. I don't think he's property. And he obviously wasn't obeying your commands or your teachings, so... Yeah, he probably saw you as annoyance. Your whole training plan was doomed. Any plan you had to train that thing was doomed. He tried to kill me the entire time. Goodness. I'm glad you're all right. You're very brave. People in the hamlet had already crafted a moniker for whoever eventually defeated my... I mean, that troll. It was troll something or other. Troll vanquisher? Troll slayer? Whisperer? Am I picking a nickname for myself? Troll Slayer. Slayer? Yes, that was it. I suppose it's your of title course. now. I need some time on my own. But truly, thank you for what you did. Troll Slayer. Has a nice ring to it. Uh, hold on. I need... Beating a curse. That's the one I already did. Follow the dead. Hold on. I need... That one that's right over here. magic source this place has seen better days hmm. oh wow oh, okay Protego. stupefy stupefy hmm where is the ancient magic source I'm willing to get there. Hold on. Confringo. Depulso. Descendo. Accio. Levioso. Flipendo. Depulso. 
What? This didn't fix anything at all. This looks intriguing. Oh, of course it does, yes. Wait, what is attacking me now? Are those wolves? Nope, they're spiders. Protego! Um. Stupid boy. Stupid boy. Okay, well, how do I get up there to the ancient magic on that side there? Oh. What? No, that's not what I want. No, I don't want the butterfly. Go away. Confringo! Hurry, hurry. Get up. Get up there. Go. Go. There's one down there, one down there. Is there one behind me? There's one behind me, okay. Get in there. Maybe. Over there, and then there's one down there. Okay. There we go. Launch an enemy into an indestructible object with the pulsa. Oh, so like slam him up against the wall. God, I can't just launch off the damn ladder. Oh. I guess. Oh god. The whole box flipped on me. Got it. Could have just taken the stairs the whole time. That's lovely. Oh wow, I just ran into it. And it busted. Depulsa. Okay. And there's a treasure cave down here? Poor Doggo. Never had it. Never stood a chance. Didn't even try. Oh, it's right here. Um.
Incendio. Hmm. That gets me back up here, but it doesn't do anything about this puzzle. Oh. Uh. In that case, where is the key? The piece. The puzzle piece. Levioso. Where would it be? Hmm. Stranded. Are you kidding me? Wingardium Leviosa. Alright, come on. Come on. No, come here. Come here. Nope, nope. Come down. This way, this way. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep, let's get up. Levioso. Yep, come on now. There we go. Okay, so I got two choices. Revelio. So does it not matter? <gasps> Apparently not. And that was a, probably the most anticlimactic puzzle. Seems like all of these are. just plenty of space to call my mount you said no how dare you Apparently, I need to sneak up on these things because they are invisible. So. Oh my god, it looks like a dodo. Levioso. Arresto momentum. Oh shit. Expelliarmus. Confringo. If you will hold still, ma'am. Okay. Do cooperate, won't you? Got him. Assignments all finished. Now, what did I just get? 
No, damn it. Okay, I got the pretty one. I think that was the female I just got. I need a male. No, that was a female I just got. I need a male. Those are all females. They're pretty stupid. Look at him. down here it's red oh lord it's another puzzle I'm not even gonna bother not even worth my time okay quests is there any other quests I can do while I'm out here a 10 beast class gotta go to the undercroft kidnapped cabbage Gotta go all go to where the first crate spotted. Okay, on map. All right, so it's right here. Whatever the hell this is. Nice, nice, nice. That crate of Chinese chomping cabbages is somewhere in this camp. Is this a dark arts Ashwinder camp? It is. Mine. <laughs> Got him. Okay, where are that's one crate in hand. I only need one more. Revelio. So money sack, loot, 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 and loot. Okay, a control two, and then a filter page. Mm. 
Doxy egg. Stolen by poachers for use in potions, these black eggs come from a doxy, a magical beast sometimes mistaken for a fairy. That's a pretty big size egg for something the size of a fairy? And they're mistaken as fairies? What the hell? That's a big egg. Hmm. All right, where's the next one? This way. Oh shit. The hell? Are you gonna make me go all the way around the damn mountain? You are. Oh, this game is so... Ah! Hold on. Do I have a, a path that way that I've already, like, collected? It's all the way over here. Jesus. Next to Phil Croft. So technically, if I just went south, we could get to it, but this is faster. Much faster. Faster, faster, much faster. Where are we going? Hmm. I'm for a bit of dying, are we? I can see why Feldcroft needs help. Ranrock's loyalists are hiding out near Feldcroft. They must have the other crate of Chinese chomping cabbages. Oh, this day has gone on too long. Crucio! You haven't had mushroom stew like what my mother used to make. Like heads of lettuce, those mushrooms were. Crucio was strong. Hmm. What do you want? Enjoy suffering, do you? No. Here we go. Where's it at? This has got to be it. Yep. That's all the crates of Chinese chomping cabbages. I'd better go and see Mr. Thistlewood's friend in Feldcroft. Hmm. Wait, didn't I already got these? I did. Why did they give it to me twice? And... Hello there. Do you have the special delivery from my dear friend, Eddie? I do. Hello, Mr. Ndi. Eddie Thistlewood sent me. Ndi. Yes, he told me to expect you. Do you have the Chinese chomping cabbages? Yes. I have them right here. Marvelous. This will go a long way towards protecting the hamlet from Ranrock's loyalists. The same foul curs who, I'm willing to guess, 
intercepted them in the first place, along with Rookwood's lot. Feldcroft owes a debt of gratitude to you and Eddie. Thank you for your help. How do you know Eddie? How do you and Eddie know each other? We oh, met at Hogwarts. Listen. Been friends and business associates ever since. I wasn't surprised to get his owl about his Chinese chomping cabbage scheme. He was always one to go out of his way to help another. I already know why they're targeting Feldcroft because I completed the second trial. Jesus. Do you have any idea why the goblins are attacking Feldcroft? No clue. I used to think it was because of its strategic location, but now it's as if they were looking for something. I will admit, however, that I don't know what they could possibly be looking for. Hmm. Gotta go help. You're welcome. Happy to be of assistance. Okay. At last, some reinforcement. In the form of cabbage. Nice. Okay. Mm, quest. Those are all done. I just did that. Did it not register that I completed it? Hopefully this is enough to thwart the goblins. Okay, return to Samantha. All the way to Herbology. Probably gonna end up waiting again. That's all this game is, is hurry up and wait. Yeah. I'm happy to tell you that I returned the crest to Marmaduke's sarcophagus just as you asked. I thought as much. I received word from St. Mungo's that my brother's feet are back to normal. No more beats. Oh, I cannot thank you enough. It wasn't too much trouble, I hope. Oh, so the beat feet would no longer be a street treat. <laughs> Damn. A troll almost killed me. Well, there was a troll in the tomb. A troll? Oh dear, I'm so sorry. That's awful. No one has been in that tomb for centuries. But I can't say I'm surprised. Marmaduke seems to have been full of surprises. Indeed he was. Well, I suppose I should be going. I'm anxious to see my brother, who must be elated to have his feet back. Of course. I certainly would be. Whoa, William whoa, and I whoa. are forever in your debt. Right. You are in debt to Thank me. Thank you again for what you did. All of my due recompense. Hmm? Hmm? You gonna compensate me for the trouble I went through in that troll? Ma'am. Ma'am, come back then here. Come back here. You owe me payment. Damn it. Ah, uh, whatever. Uh, I need... That's Summoner's Court. Don't care. We'll talk to Deke. Rumor of Requirement. This should be a cinch. Oh god, yes. Oh, I'm so glad I got the T-shaped one. I could be making potions the whole time. Hold on, is this done? Nope. Okay, I am at... Nope, go back.
like to speak with you. Oh, I know, I'm fully aware. Okay. It's gonna be one, two, three, four. Right over there. One, two, three, and then the last one, twenty-five. Right over there. Okay, cool. Runic robe. Hmm, not bad. I guess I could try that one out. Hold on. One time I need gear. He does it pull up. So was it robe? Yeah, it was a robe. Eighty-five, eighty-nine. Oh God, no, nope. Take it there. Dark arts. Perfection. Perfection. Nothing to identify. What do you got? Hello, Deke. You wanted to talk to me. Indeed. Uh, Deke thought you might want to learn how to build a breeding pen so that you can breed beasts. Oh. I would like that. That sounds like a very good idea. Rescuing and breeding beasts go hand in hand. Young beasts are particularly vulnerable to poachers. Breeding beasts here in the room will allow us to keep the younger ones safe. I see. What do I need to do? First, bring a pair of beasts to the room. One male, one female. Deeg suggests rescuing Thestrals, as they're at great risk from poachers. Normal creatures, but their relationship with death gives them a bad reputation. They're prized by poachers for their tail hairs. I've seen Thestrals before, but where would I find a pair of them nearby? Deke has seen some wild Thestrals not too far from the Hogwarts grounds. Then you'll need to purchase a spellcraft for the pen from Tomes and Scrolls and gather the materials it requires. Once you've rescued the Thestrals the and hell? you have the spellcraft, you come and find Deke. Oh, well, I guess. Oh, the dead. So... Oh, because they have wings and they can fly. Guess I've been thoughtful. Jesus. Okay. No. Where are the Thestrals? Here? Jesus. There were some closer. I guess. Hold on. What's in my sack already? A dairy cow? A, a neasel? I think that's it.
Where the hell are y'all going? Okay, so the best bet is to go after the ones that are laying down. That's a female, that's a male. Jesus. Settle yourself. I mean you no harm. Alright. Now I gotta go purchase a spellcraft. Wait, no, I'm over here. Just in case I need it. Hold on. What? Where is it at? Oh God, it's indoors. Wait, sir, are you okay? Hmm. He, um, uh, he seems to be a big hung up. Are you in some sort of trouble? Nearly attacked by wolves, I was. Only just escaped with my life. I need to be better prepared next time. Could use some thunder brew. I don't suppose a student like yourself would be in possession of such a thing? Uh... Glitch or intentional? Yes. Um, of course. Of course. Yes, I have some right here. Please take it oh, and be God. careful. Oh, thank you, thank you. I knew you had a good heart. I what? feel better already just knowing I have some thunder brew on hand. Why does this game Please keep really this giving out all my possessions? I wanted compensation for it. Invisibility potion? Is that what you gave me in return? They are not one and the same. They are not of equal value. No. No, ma'am. You owe me two more invisibility potions or my thunder brew potion back. This game, I swear. Ugh. All right, well, let me go back to Hogsmeade. Yes, 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 Hogsmeade. Go down here. There, so I need to go there. I know, right? I got one invisibility potion for a thunder brew. D no, preposterous. How dare her? I would never deal with her again. Zero out of ten adventure, would not recommend. Wait, hold on. Is there a chest up here? Or is there a... Oh, there we go. Alohomora. I think it's because this is winter. 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 Rebellion. Oh wow, there's a bunch of goodies upstairs. What is this? Oh, give me the bag. Give me the chest. Give me this other chest. Oh, joy. Oh, Lord. 
these lamps where did you get these lamps oh they're hideous you get them at a thrift store I swear I've seen these exact same lamps at a Goodwill before Ugh. oh it, you just leave your pound cake out like that it's gonna get dry dry pound cakes the worst their house is an antique store you know I wouldn't be surprised British people are weird like that antique store this is the 1800s <laughs> oh gotta trim my bush chat Pet the kitty. I want another calico too. Oh, it's a sweet, precious kitty. Meow. Uh, uh, right here. Take your time looking about. Plenty of wonderful books to stoke a curious mind like yours. Okay, well, sell, 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 wait, yeah, that's garbage, sell, this is all trash, sheesh, Why are these two better for me? Hold on. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Explain yourself, gear. Wait, what was that? It was this. Nope, it was face right it's only two better it's gonna drop my damage down but my defense will go up by two. Oh god no it's like mad eye moody shit hmm I kind of like those gloves No, I need my belts. Where are my belts? Nope, I need my crisscross belts. Those aren't good enough. What about this one? No. Wait, how can you have all these tops that look almost identical? What about these crisscross belts? No. I prefer these crisscross belts. Yes. Thank you, Final Fantasy, for my love of belts. We got to have the belts. Okay. Wait, it's still in the game. Let's look at what we have, have, shall we? There we go. Now we can conjure a breeding pen in the room. Best get back to Deke with the Thestrals. Yep. Eyes like a dimmy, guys. So they're. I'm almost positive the troll was in the curse too. Hold on, I had something for that. Jesus Christ, I forgot. Oh, 
Okay. Let's let's go back to Hogsworth. Wait, what are my quest? Bell. Okay. There. Wait, hold on. Is there anything on the map I should be aware of? Summer's Court. No world map. Hold on. Okay, that's the main quest. Hmm. Check. I completely defeated the purpose of what I wanted to do. Hogwarts. There. Go. Room of requirement. Go. There. Done. Get it done. Mm. Okay, dude. I've got it now. Rescued the Thestrals. I've rescued the Thestrals and bought the spellcraft for the pen. Excellent. Now, to breed your Thestrals, simply release them into the same vivarium in which you conjure the pen. Then use the pen to start the process. Come and see Deke when you're finished. I shall. Oi. I wonder where I should conjure that pen. Is this another one? Dear Lord, how many places are there? A swamp. Deke never grows tired of the room surprises. We now have the perfect place for those Thestrals. Please let Deke know once you've bred them. All right, well, I gotta go collect the other one. Hold on. Wait, what? Is there like a whole nother section? This place is just building me a mansion. Um, I kind of like it. Hold on, I gotta go in here. Grab my other Thestral. We can take him I'll look after you. I do like the music. The music is very peaceful. Hold on, let me go here. Give me. Uh, I don't have any toads in here. I thought I had toads. Apparently, I sold them. Hmm. I do have too many pumpkins. The music here has a very nothing else matters feel to it.
Rebellion. Hmm. Rebellion. What is Rebellion. over here? What? Confringo. Rebellion. All right, breeding pin, yay! Now we need to feed them too, and a toy box. Okay, let's go over here next to this. Where's the entrance at? I don't even know. Either way, this is going right here. And then back. Breeding pin. Uh, how big is it? Oh, holy shit. There. Okay, time to release the Thestrals. Thestral. Oh, look at it sleep. It's so cute. Twenty nine minutes.
Wait, where the hell does it have hair on its tail? That's, that's a spine. That's all bone and skin. Chat, where's the hair? I see no hair on that tail. So how are they being poached for their hell for their hair? What hair? Do I have to have two encounters with death to see the hair on it? Is it really a fuzzy creature and not just skin and bone? What am I missing here? They're like thin micro hairs. Okay, well. Okay, done. Ugh. Wait. Um. See, cholesterol hair. What hair? And it's red. What the fuck? Okay. God, that sounds irritating. Okay. Okay. No, I completed it. Use the breeding breeze to breed a death squirrel. Oh, so I gotta wait 30 minutes? What the hell? No, I am not waiting 30 minutes. So in that case, I am going to go ahead and go to the next quest. Attend this class. So that I can gain the quest. Okay, cool. Ten beast class so I can gain Bombarda. Why is the beast teacher teaching me Bombarda? Bombarda is clearly an explosive spell. Oh my god, it's so freak freaking and cute. How? Excellent work today. Class dismissed. Ugh. Can't say I'm terribly fond of all the dung in this class. I hate to see a creature get put down like that. But trolls have no business in Hogsmeade. God, why is it so laggy? Go away, kids. You are causing my system to almost crash. I okay. take it you're ready to learn your new spell. Yes. I completed your assignment, Professor. I'm ready to learn Bombarda now. Good. Now, this spell comes with a caveat. It should only be used when necessary. The exploding charm, as you might suspect, can hurt people. Use caution when casting it. Wait. So all the other spells in my entire repertoire, aside from Lumos and Revelio and a few other spells, they don't hurt people? Like you have it actually taught me? I mean, maybe also if I put somebody up too high and then just remove the spell from them, they'll fall and hurt themselves. What the hell? 
Is this an appropriate spell for students? What? Of course, Professor. I am I ready. I will, Professor. I will hold you to that promise. Now, you must be precise in your wand movements. We don't want you blowing your hand off. Go ahead. Mm. Nice and steady wand movements. Remember, the exploding charm is highly volatile. Explosion. Well done. Now, let us put it into practice, shall we? Mm. No, that's Confringo. I need Bombarda. Hold on. Go ahead and try it on the pumpkins. Bombarda. Excellent wand work. Cast the spell just like that every time. Assured and in control. Excellent. You have it well in hand. Professor, might I have a moment? Yes. What is it? Why are you interested in magical beasts? I was wondering what inspired your interest in magical beasts. Why Are not? you considering some sort of profession in the field? Possibly. I haven't decided quite yet, but I do find magical beasts fascinating. Hmm. You do seem to engage well with the beasts in class. I believe that when choosing a path, particularly of a scholarly nature, one must take into account both one's enthusiasm for a particular subject, as well as how one may best serve the students to whom one is obligated to both inspire and teach. Of course, Professor. When did your path become clear? I recall it quite vividly. It was the summer between my sixth and seventh years. I read in the Prophet about a wizard who'd been selling alchemy eggs and disappeared in the mountains near my home. I knew of the alchemy, of course, from my studies, but they are native to lands east of here, such as India. I wondered if it was possible that an alchemy could be so nearby. Hence, I went to find it. What is an alchemy? What type of beast is an alchemy? It is a spectacular beast, a feathered, winged, serpent-like creature that can grow or shrink to fit a particular space. Its eggs are made of pure silver, hence the desire to trade in them. Hmm. Seems quite a challenge finding an alchemy in the mountains. It was. After a few days, during which my parents grew increasingly annoyed at my absence, I found what little remained of the wizard egg trader. He was near a tree hollow. And there, inside, was a nest with seven silver alchemy eggs. What did you do with them? Nothing. Beasts are to be valued for what they can provide for wizard kind. Protective clothing, potion ingredients, even wand cores. Only poachers see the value in ending a beast's life for galleons. I left the eggs alone. I hid. And moments later, the beast flew right over my head. Breathtaking. She then seemed to all but disappear as she shrunk to fit into the hollow. That sounds incredible. Indeed. I knew in that moment that I needed to understand all that I could about beasts and ensure that wizard kind learned to benefit properly from them. Now, I trust that I have answered your question. You would do well to continue your study of beasts, regardless of your chosen path. Beasts and all that they provide will vastly improve your life, and perhaps one day even save it. I shall remember that, Professor. 
Thank you. Hmm. All right, attend to the class. Done. Learn Bombarda. Quest. There. Surely it's been 30 minutes, right? Mm. No, it hasn't even been 30 minutes. It hasn't even been five. The quest was short. Uh. See, uh, I still got like 20 minutes. Screw it. Go to the undercrawl. That's right. Uh, back. Get into the undercroft again. Where the hell is that clock at? It's in the, the astronomy tower, right? Near or below dark arts this way. You it took us three days to find your brother, and your mother almost squashed him first. You know how much she hates dung beetles. Ah, but I bet that's why you did it, eh? Well, let's see how much you like being turned into an insect next time you test my temper. <laughs> Huh, interesting. Into the undercroft. Never believe what I've learned. What did you discover in the spellbook we found in the scriptorium? Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary, not to fear it. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. Hmm. I agree. We did what we had to do. It was hard to do, but casting Crucio was our only option. And I'm glad we did it. Because in the spellbook, I also found something else. References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. And you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Precisely. I plan to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially Ominous. He wouldn't understand. We should tell Ominous. We need to tell him. He's the reason we found the book and he deserves to know what you've learned. You've seen how he frets about the Dark Arts. I promise I'll tell him when I found the relic. When I know more, I shall send an owl. And don't feel sorry for Ominous. Keeping this to ourselves for now is for his own good. I'll decide what's for my own good. Ominous, we were just about to get some air. Care to join? You're a liar, Sebastian. I heard everything. You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting that. I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for Anne. You don't know when to stop, do you? I know when not to stop. Leave this alone, Ominous. 
I'll be on my way. I am not letting this go. Ominous, Sebastian meant well. I appreciate you telling Sebastian not to keep this from me, but going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realize it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died. What? What happened to Sebastian's parents? I knew his parents died, but I never heard what happened. Mr. and Mrs. Sallow were professors, spent nearly every waking moment in the cellar library. Nose is buried in books. Anne and Sebastian were upstairs when it happened. They heard a sudden crash and ran downstairs, but it was too late. Their parents had crumpled to the floor. A defect with the lamp in the cellar caused the room to fill with an undetectable toxin. Sebastian and Anne were helpless. They had no magic yet. What a horrible story. It is. That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I cannot lose Sebastian, too. Please avoid anything to do with that spell book. The spell book is giving Sebastian hope. Those references in the book seem promising. Everything to do with Salazar Slytherin seems promising until it's too late. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further, but if you think he might, please let me know. It would mean a lot. I know he will. In fact, I'm going to do it with him. Going it alone is one thing. We're always going to be curious creatures. It always helps to have a friend with you as well. Even a mistake is made, at least one of you can try to reverse it. Okay, cool. What's the uh, next part of the quest? Hold on. Ooh, wait, what? Huh? Fire and vice? Hmm. Use a breeding pen to breed the Thestrials. Well, wait, yeah, I've done that. Wait, hold on. Is this quest done? I don't think this quest is done. It's just waiting to give me the next part after I leave. Maybe. Uh, there we go. Um, Sebastian? Am I missing something? What the hell? That's it. I get no reward for that little bit. Grant didn't do anything to deserve a reward, but still. I don't want to do the main quest yet. Hmm. I have a feeling as soon as I fast travel, Can I rotate the map? No, I can't. Hmm. Pit upon Ford. Hmm. Slice a dangling dug bog. Wait, how would it be dangling? That requires a spell defendo. Uh, I don't feel like doing it. I just can't imagine living like ah, nothing clears the cobweb. Is Highwing all right? Natty told me what the two of you did. Highwing's great. 
High wing's fine. I'm keeping an eye on her. She's safe, Poppy, I promise. Good. Whatever the poachers are up to, I want High wing far from it. You said you had news about the poachers, and that some of it had to do with me. It did. I overheard them talking in the Hogshead, and... Did you know that they have orders from Victor Rookwood to capture you on sight? Does this have anything yes. to do with Rookwood and Harlow coming for you in the Three Broomsticks after the troll attack? It does, somewhat. But at the moment, I'm more concerned about what else you heard the poachers are up to. Fair enough. But I hope you'll let me know if I can be of help, especially after what you did for Highwing. Does the name Horntail Hall mean anything to you? I'm afraid not. Why? What is it? The poachers best kept secret, apparently. The name came up twice, but they never went into detail. I also overheard one of them bragging about all the gold they're making, at the expense of innocent creatures, undoubtedly. The poachers spoke of this area, and I thought if we searched around a bit, it might give us clues as to what they're doing. If you ever meet my gran, this trip never happened. Your secret is safe with me. Not to worry, Poppy. If I ever meet your gran, I shall not speak a word of this. I normally tell her everything. She might be my best friend after Highwing, but she knows how I feel about the poachers. I think she worries I'll do something ill-advised. Whatever gave her that idea? <laughs> this way. I see. Winter puts a dull filter on everything. A centaur. Tread carefully. Now, oh, why are the frame rates dropping? It's literally an one entire centaur. castle to roam, yet you choose to wander here. Please, we don't want any trouble. We're simply passing through. Do you take us for fools? That we do not notice more and more of your kind around here, in league with the poachers. We aren't involved with them. If anything, we want to see them stopped. I hope for your sake that is true. Our kind is swiftly losing patience with the poachers and those they work with. He was certainly a charmer. That could have gone worse. Centaurs aren't exactly fans of wizard kind, and the poachers aren't helping matters. But why would he think that we had anything to do with poachers? I did notice the poachers talking with a few villagers in Hogsmeade. I'm not sure why. Perhaps that's why the centaurs are suspicious. time I've seen a Dugbog behave that violently. It seems that a lot of beasts have been more aggressive than usual lately. I've noticed that too. It's almost like there's something in the water. This is... odd. What is it? Not entirely sure, but look around. If the poachers were here, perhaps we can find out why. Why wouldn't they take their cages with them when they left? Still smoking. They can't have been gone long. Mm-hmm. Just drink a random poacher's half fill mug. Revelio. This is goblin metal. Seems out of place in a poacher camp. I should tell Poppy about it. Pelt. Poor beasts. Alright, seems to be it. Anything interesting? Poachers were here. All sorts of evidence. But I found something else. It's goblin made. I found goblin armor. Let's keep searching, but carefully. Merlin only knows what's going on here. I don't have a good feeling about this. 
How Gee, you gotta be kidding me. Poacher interests align. Look, down there. Definitely poachers. No creatures, though. So, what are they doing out here? Let's take a closer look. They won't be happy to see us. Should we use disillusionment? Or perhaps a less discreet approach? Hard to say from up here. Let's get a better lay of the land. Hogwarts is very lucky they've got protection charms, if you ask me. Oh, Himself. What is going on here? Only one way to find out. Oh, what the hell? Rebellion. What the hell was these frame rate spikes? Jesus. <clears throat> no, wait, no. Repair. Repair. Rebellion. All right. Enter the tent. Oh, snap. It's going to be bigger on the inside. What in Merlin's name? <sighs> Are those dragons? Now when the frame rates drop almost immediately. It's a dragon fighting room. This is Horntel Hall. The name makes sense now, and the secrecy. No wonder the poachers were in Hogsmeade so much. Likely taking pets and spreading the word, given how crowded it is here. How could they possibly enjoy this? The centaurs have every right to be disgusted with wizard kind. There must be more dragons here. Poachers are far too greedy to run a fighting ring with only two dragons. We should take advantage of most eyes being on the fight and look around. But be discreet. You especially can't afford to be spotted. <sighs> what I wouldn't give to be a demogeist right now. Have you heard from your family? Has even of your brothers come round to our way of thinking? Will they join us? Ah, they say we go too far. The violence isn't gonna get us what we want. <laughs> I say, if every last wizard is run through with a blade, the violence is gonna get me precisely what I want. Sickens me to work alongside any of them. The traffickers don't tell us. Going to regret Such arrogance. <laughs> Your acrobatics will only postpone the inevitable. Two Fringo. 
Okay, let's see here. What do we got? Did you hear those goblins? Ramrock and the poachers must be working together. Poppy. Something's going on behind you. What's going on down there? Oh, that poor dragon. Holy it shit. must have only just captured her. She's putting up quite the fight. Not a fair one, though. Not with her chained up like that. Let's even her up, shall we? from the looks of it can't leave it here not with the plans they likely have for it hello Hamora hey this one here looks a lot better it's not as dull Nice. Yeah, much better. All right, I have the egg. Ready. The element of surprise will only buy us a few seconds. Let's make them count. Oh, I'm pull. I'm pulling the potions. My bad. I'm free this dragon. Professional. Why does that voice sound familiar? Damn it. All right, I have the egg. Ready. The element of surprise will only buy us a few seconds. Let's make them count. Careful! Ramrod will want his dragon in pass. Oh shit, too late. Jesus Christ. 
You're the one we're looking for, and you brought a friend. Careful, but look. I'll check your pockets. Let's get this over. Stop right now. Another up wires coming back this way. Oh, really? You may want to see that. Wait, hold on. Akio. Is that working? This may have been a bad idea. I suppose we'll find out. Nice. That was awesome. Free the dragon. This way. That was a Hebridean black. I'm guessing the egg we have belongs to that dragon. I don't think she knew they had her egg. She wouldn't have left without it. What now? She didn't exactly leave us a calling card. I, I don't know. Nothing about this day was expected. Not the goblins and definitely not the fighting ring. The last thing I planned on was a dragon egg. And the poachers saw us, which cannot be good. Do you think the poachers will retaliate? Should we expect trouble from the poachers? Of course. Given the trouble we just caused. Oh, It'd be of course, foolish not course. to expect it. They're not a forgiving lot. I'm sorry to say that you likely have a larger target on your back now because of what we just did. Hmm. What should we do with the egg? Since the dragon we freed flew off, does that mean we get to keep the egg? I'd much rather we <laughs> have it than the poachers, at least for now. But I don't think we should keep it indefinitely. It'll be hard hiding something like this from Professor Weasley for long. Let's get out of here. We aren't helping ourselves standing here. Let's get to safety. We can sort this out later. You're right. If there's anything the poachers are good at, it's tracking their prey. 
And right now we're it. Be careful, won't you? I shall see you back at the castle. Ender of Dragons. Nice. We saved the dragon chat. It was it was butamous. Very butamous. Are you really back here at this poultry camp? What the hell? Nice. There's no flames there. Intermediate Transfiguration. Yeah. Okay. It's not too bad. Let me go get a festival. Mm, defeat 70 Dark Wizards. Protect those shielding. And Halloween Pumpkin Mask, I guess. Yeah. Oof. Some of this should be easy. Hold on. Controls, goblins, red box. Infamous foes. Okay, so dragons is not on the list. So we don't get to fight a dragon. Damn. At least worth the challenge. You know, like a self-defense situation. Uh, that said, though, let's go talk to Weasley. What the hell, there's more now? Uh, what quest do we have? Professor Weasley's assignment. In the underground harbor. What? Okay. And a transfiguration in the a transfiguration in the library. Is that still library? Okay. And that's Summer's Court. Okay. I guess let's go talk to the Deek. For the bread thestrals we just got. I want to breed dragons too. I also want to breed a basilisk. Yeah, I don't know if they'll let me do the basilisk. No, I don't want to build, make a potion. Did I get any special gear? Oh yeah, I did. Oh, uh, yeah, no. Alright. Artithestral's done breeding. Well, it takes 30 minutes to pop out a baby. <sighs> oh, I don't want to breed. Where are they at? Thestral offspring. so cute hold on I gotta and then here no there now feed it arrest the momentum what no I'm gonna pet it there we go brush it brush it brush it Cute little thing. I'm gonna get brushed. Okay. Now feed it. Here you go. I should let Deke know about the newborn Thestral. I shall. I shall indeed. Deke, it's beautiful. Hello, Deke. You'll be pleased to know that a little Thestral was born. How 
wonderful to have more Thestrals in our world. Such misunderstood beasts. I'm sorry that we can both see Thestrals, Deke. Deke is privileged to see such majestic beasts. But sometimes wishes Deke couldn't. Deke is to blame. What do you mean, to blame? Years ago, Deke's master ordered Deke to help him capture a phoenix, the rarest of all beasts that master had spotted high on a cliff. The phoenix was the most beautiful beast Deke had ever seen. Deke begged master to leave her be. When Deke hesitated to climb up the cliff as ordered, Deke had to punish himself. As Deke punished himself, master grew angrier and angrier, and in his frustration, cast at the regal bird. Deke suspects the phoenix was protecting eggs when it swooped down in fear and fury. Before Deke could reach him, Master fell from the cliff. Deke stayed on that cliffside for days, punishing himself before Tobbs found him. Your master got what he deserved. It sounds to me as if your master got what he deserved. Deke never wanted anyone to get hurt. Not the phoenix, not Tobbs, and not even Master. Deke often wonders what became of that phoenix. Deke feels fortunate to be at Hogwarts now, helping you rescue beasts. Perhaps Deke can make amends for what came before. Hmm. Yep. Okay. Uh, let's see here. What we got? Okay, that's done. Library annex there. How the hell? What? Travel. Let's let's go down here. Let's see what's going on. Gotta go get this page. Underground harbor. <sighs> There's stuff back here. What? Oh, shit. Sneak up on the chest. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Sneakity, sneak, sneak. Oh, got it. Ba -do -ba -do -do. courtyard. Wait, was there like some kind of puzzle to get there? There's that bridge. So, it was right over here the whole time. Really? Huh. Revelio. That is a werewolf. This is another puzzle. Lumos. Is that a Kelpie statue?
Hit me. Hold on. What? All my cobblestones back. I'm ready to take on all challenges. That's ominous. Wait, what? Hold on. There should be one on the other side then, right? Right over here. Here it is. Okay, cool. Go this way. My mother would like to speak with you. I believe she has learned about some of what we've been up to. I'm hoping she may be easier on me if you are there. Can we meet at the three broomsticks? May finally be safe since we rescued the dragon from Horntail Hall. <laughs> Okay, so I unlocked two more quests. Yes. Mum's word and a dragon debrief. Speak with Nanny outside the divination classroom. Okay. We're gonna do that. Hopefully she's not in too much trouble. Of course, her mom should have seen this coming. <laughs> Divination. Yeah. Can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Oh, shut up. Oh, you're so pompous. So frustrating. I know. You wanted to speak with me, Mother? I had hoped to speak with you alone, Natsai. Your message mentioned your concern about an unusual creature that was spotted in the woods near Hogsmeade. That could have been anything. You know what it was, Natsai. I am allowed to leave the castle. I am always careful, Mother. Careful? Officer Singer disagrees. She sent me an owl telling me that you have been trying to collect evidence of some kind against dark wizards. She berated me for not keeping a closer eye on you. And she is right. I do not want you visiting Hogsmeade for the near future. But mother! My little gazelle, you are well-intentioned, but you must not meddle in the affairs of dangerous people. If someone had meddled in Matabilaland, father would still be with us. <sighs> I must get to class. Perhaps your friend can get you to listen to reason. So frustrating. <laughs> she never listens to me. She called you her little gazelle. Is that a term of endearment where you're from? It is specific to me. <sighs> I am the unusual creature in Hogsmeade she mentioned. Self-transfiguration is not taught at Hogwarts. So I am gently discouraged from practicing it. However, I am an Anamagus. And it is in my gazelle form that I have been able to wander the highlands rather freely until now. Much to my mother's chagrin. That is how I managed to spy on Rookwood and Harlow. <coughs> hmm. You know what it feels like. How does it feel to transform into an animal? Well, the first time, it can be a bit unnerving. I felt a kind of searing pain and a strong double heartbeat. But it gets easier the more you do it. I no longer feel any pain, and I must say, I find a sense of comfort in the double heartbeat. And I love being able to view the world from a different perspective. Do you choose your Animagus form? Can you choose what form your Animagus will take? Oh, no. A person's animagus form is determined by their personality. My mother is convinced that my form is a gazelle because I adapt well to any situation. I believe it is because I can sense danger and keep my wits about me. How did you become an animagus? Were you born an animagus? Or did you learn to become one? Animagi are not born. The process is quite elaborate. It involves holding a mandrake leaf in one's mouth for an entire month. 
then placing the leaf in a crystal file so that it is imbued with moonlight, then adding one of your own hairs. And that is just the beginning. Self-transfiguration is common among students at Wagadu, but Professor Weasley considers it much too dangerous to teach at Hogwarts. That's incredible. Now the nickname makes sense. What an extraordinary ability to have. It is. I love transforming, but Mother is less enthusiastic about it. She says mm. that no creature, especially one as rare as a gazelle, should be bounding about where poaching has become so prevalent. <sighs> she claims that she has foreseen tragedy befall me in my gazelle form. But she has used her sight to control me too many times. I no longer believe it. Self-fulfilling prophecies. Statistically speaking, it's only a matter of time. If she keeps doing what she's doing, it's gonna happen. Hmm. Ah, she's probably gonna die. Uh, can't allow your mother to stop us. We're making good progress. We can't quit now. I agree. I have never considered quitting, even for a moment. You could have fled the moment you discovered that Rookwood, Harlow, and Randrock were after you, but you did not. I choose to act as you have. I must deal with Rookwood and Harlow, not hide from them. <sighs> My mother cannot know where I am all the time. Thank you for being here during that rather awkward conversation. I have yet to attend a divination class. Hmm. Okay, well, is that quest done? Uh, I guess not. Has it given me credit for it? Right? I guess maybe it's just a story thing okay let's let's go three broomsticks Trim a bush. Jeez, I was just here. It's almost as if these bushes just grow wildly out of control in a short amount of time. I should pretend I never heard the rumors of your involvement. Over here. What's up, Bobby? This is a change of pace from our last outing. Don't remind me. The thought of that tent still makes my blood boil. I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting ring. The collars they were wearing, they appeared to be goblin silver. I think a collar is precisely what we found at that poacher camp. I've never known poachers to use anything like that before. The dragon that attacked my carriage was wearing a collar, and Professor Fig was genuinely baffled by its behavior. That attack always did strike me as a little strange, seemingly coming out of nowhere. Surely you aren't suggesting that the collars somehow control the poor creatures? Exactly. Merlin, I don't think the dragon we set free was wearing a collar, but we should check. And if we can find her, we can return her egg. We should check on her. That's a good idea. We need to see this through. I'll start looking into it right away. There was something else that I wanted to discuss with you. I didn't want to press it before. It seems I may have caused you more trouble with Victor Rookwood. Why is he after you? It's to do with Ranrock. Rookwood is working with Ranrock, and Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Fig had a port key that led us there after the dragon attack. 
It's a bit of a long story, and Fig had asked that I not speak of it yet. Goodness. Well, that certainly helps to shed light on what we saw at the tent. Don't worry, I'll guard your secret as if it were my own. I shan't press for more details. <laughs> Shit, I'm an idiot. In fact, I should probably be I just going. told everybody at three I'd like to six. track that dragon down as soon as I can. Hmm. I'll let you know when I have news of her location. Might have been a slight oversight, I'm sure maybe not. Reasons, but breaking as well for Lawley's home wasn't the brightest idea. What? What are you talking about? I didn't break into anybody's home. Rebellion. Yeah. Do I need to sell shit? Yes, I do. Hold on. Hello, Hamora. Oh God! Wait, hold on. It's like right there. Really? Is that it? That's all that was in here. Really? Oh lord. This game. Appreciate you having a look. Cornish wizard allegedly breeds chicken with Welsh green. What? Cornish wizard? Said to have bred a chicken with a species of dragon known as a Welsh green. The rumor is yet to be confirmed, but the ministry officials have noted that, if true, it is extra, irresponsible, extra. albeit immediately illegal. Uh, immediately legal. This is apparently the latest rumor crossbreeding by the Cornish wizard. Daily Who's the topic of the conversation in his local community? Heard he crossed a billowig with a scallop. Recalled one neighbor, tried to fry it up, right levitated for days. He did. Then, before, there was the allegedly goat, but I'm certain I saw the niffler he bred Get with the beetle. Yep, almost certain about that one I am. Authorities are monitoring the situation closely to ensure that the latest experiment, nicknamed the Dricken, extra, extra. the Dricken. If it doesn't indeed exist, if it does it. indeed exist, does not pose a threat to the local wizarding community, nor to the muggles living nearby. I suppose that if the rumor is true, or concerns will be greater if it's a dragon-sized chicken rather than a chicken-sized dragon. Offer ministry benefit official Belinda Brown. All the latest wizarding news right A goat here. and a moon calf. Of course, that could have just been a moon calf. What? These people are idiots. Get your daily profit. That was a tabloid. Rebellion. Fake news. God, this game's frame rate issues are bad. Okay, let me get over here. <laughs> I've heard that out. Hello there. Ready for a little change in fashion, are we? Plenty to choose from here, so take your time. 90. 
No, I'll need a garbage. I need that one. Maybe. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise. I already I am. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. No, sure. no. Wait, no, I need gear? Book. There. Ugh. That's terrible. No, I give me that one there. What was no. That's a that's a cape. No. Robe. Yes. All right. Whatever you're about. Ooh, I can sell the other one. Hold on. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Nope. Rebellion. Nope, gotta trim a bush again. Chrome cake. Rebellion. No. Oh. People actually live like this, though. Just. A hole in the wall. It's got three stairs, and each room is like a single stair by itself. Sheesh. They have no way whatsoever to cook. They play piano, but that's about it. And there's their bed, way up in the attic. They have to wake up and walk downstairs just to get all the way to the bottom floor to have breakfast or to do whatever. Okay, well, that's it for that. Let me see quests. Weasley's assignments. Go get the other transfiguration page. Locate on map, which is going to be in the library. Is it library? Okay, so yeah, library. Have a look, it's in a book, a reading rainbow. Uh, second floor. That huh? book Professor Weasley asked me to find should be around here somewhere. Rebellion. Looking for the book Intermediate Transfiguration. Yeah, how did you know? Professor Weasley asked me to, uh, get something from that book. May I have it? Did she now? I'll give you this book if you humor me by answering a few questions from my quiz. Quiz? 
Some people call bits of knowledge trivia. I would argue that no knowledge is trivial. Hence, I have created a small quiz, just for fun, focusing mainly on the lore of the wizarding world. None of the other students will try it, no matter how many times I ask. They all say they have enough with schoolwork. Ugh, they don't value knowledge the way I do. Surely you're interested. I'll even start you off with a few of my easiest questions. If I must, let it be fun. A quiz sounds like fun. Splendid! Just a few questions and then I'll hand over this book. Let us begin. Before the invention of the Golden Snitch, which magical creature was used in the game of Quidditch? What? The Golden Snidget? The Golden Snidget. Correct! The Snidget was first introduced to Quidditch in 1269 by a wizard named Barbarous Bragg. Sadly, they're thought to be extinct. Next question. Which potion is commonly referred to as liquid luck? Felix Felicis. Felix Felicis. Well done! Since it makes the drinker temporarily lucky, Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organized competitions. The tale of the three brothers involves which magical artifacts? That's the Deathly Hallows. The Deathly Hallows. Correct! According to Beedle the Bard, the Deathly Hallows consists of the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak of Invisibility. Which ball in Quidditch is the largest? Oh, that's the, uh, quaffle. The quaffle. That's right! When a chaser throws the quaffle through one of three hoops in a Quidditch match, their team is awarded ten points. True or false, Polyjuice Potion allows the drinker to change species. Uh... Technically, yes, because Hermione turned into a cat. True. True. Actually, the answer was false. While Polyjuice Potion can be used to change things such as age or race, it cannot be used to change species. Well, I suppose this has gone on long enough. I'll put the book back on the pedestal now. If you're inclined to test your knowledge again, I have plenty more questions I could ask you. And I won't be giving you any more easy questions either. The next ones will be more difficult. I'd like to answer more questions. What governmental body directly preceded the Ministry of Magic? <clears throat> the International Confederation of Wizards. The International Confederation of Wizards. No, that's incorrect. The answer was the Wizards Council. Oh, the Wizards eh. Council disbanded in 1707 after the creation of the International Statute of Wizarding Secrecy, which required a more structured government to support its enforcement. Which dragon breed is the smallest? The, the Antipodean op Opali. The Antipodean Opali. No, I'm sorry, but the answer was the Peruvian Vipertooth. Though the Vipertooth is the smallest breed, averaging at around 15 feet in length, it is also the fastest breed and feared for its venomous fangs. Who founded the village of Hogsmeade? Elfrida Clagg? Elfrida Clagg? No, the answer was Hengist of Woodcroft. It is believed that Hengist used the Three Broomsticks Inn as his home. The hide behind was accidentally created by crossbreeding a ghoul with what other magical creature? Uh, jeez, these are hard. I don't fucking know any of this shit. Hold on. Crossbreeding a ghoul, a ghoul with a... Uh, a rune spore? A rune spore. That's incorrect. The answer was a demiguise. That's what I thought. While the hide behind has the power of invisibility, those who have seen it have described it as a tall, thin monkey with silver hair. What is the only spell known to repel a lethifold? A 
Patronus charm. The Patronus charm. Well done. The only known survivor of a Lethifold attack was a wizard named Flavius Belby, who was on holiday in Papua New Guinea at the time. Who published the law of elemental transfiguration? Oh shit. I don't fucking know. Um Gamp? Gamp. That's it. One of the principal exceptions to Gamp's law is that food cannot be conjured, though it can be summoned. What does the Hogwarts motto translate to? Wait, what's the Hogwarts motto? Hold on, I'm actually interested in this, because if they use that... I just want to see... What the Latin is, because if I know what the Latin is... Draco, Dormans, Nocturne, Tillinus. <laughs> ah, never tickle a sleeping dragon. Never tickle a sleeping dragon. Correct. In Latin, the Hogwarts motto is Draco Dormians Nunquam Titillandus. Which magical creature is the only one known to produce eggs through its mouth? Ah. Uh, the Basilisk? I want to raise basilisk. I don't even know that simple thing. Basilisk. The basilisk. That's incorrect. Mm. The correct answer was the rune's paw. According to parcel mouths, each of the rune's paw's three heads serves a different function. The left head is the planner, the middle is the dreamer, and the right is the critic. Where is Ilvermorny School of Witchcraft and Wizardry located? Ilvermorny? That's in the U.S. I think it's Mount Greylock? It's in the Appalachian Mountains. Yeah, Ilber Morning School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. It's in the US. In Appalachian Mountains. As a matter of fact, it's it's close to Pennsylvania. Uh, uh, Mount Greylock. Mount Greylock. Well done! The American school was founded in the 17th century by Esalt Sayre and James Stewart. What is the most powerful love potion known to wizard kind? Mm. Mortentia. Elixir to induce euphoria. Elixir to induce euphoria. Incorrect. The answer was Amortentia. Uh, Amatentia smells yeah. differently to every person according to what they find attractive, such as dusty book covers or. <clears throat> Are you interested in continuing on to the next round? They're my most difficult questions. Yeah, sure. Give me your worst. Wonderful. Trivia. I do admire your thirst for knowledge. Emmerich the Evil was killed in a duel against whom? Fuck if I know. Shit, I don't even know who the fuck Emmerich the Evil is. Sir Agravain? Egbert the Egregious. Sir Agravain. Sir Agravain. Final answer. Incorrect. The answer was Egbert the Egregious. Emmerich gained notoriety for terrorizing villages in the south of England during the Middle Ages when he was the master of the Elder Wand. If a chaser keeps their hand on the quaffle as it goes through the goal, what foul are they committing? Blatching? Blatching. The answer was actually haversacking. Blatching is flying to intentionally collide with a player. Stooging is when two chasers knock the other team's keeper away from the goals so that a third chaser can score. A bite from a mackled malaclaw has the unusual side effect of causing what? What the fuck is a mackled malaclaw? Bad 
Bad luck. Bad luck. Correct. Native to the European coastline, the effects of a malaclaw's bite can last up to a week. What plant excretes stink sap? Mimbulus, Mimble, Mimbletonia. So, Sopophorus bean. Sopophorus bean. I'm afraid the correct answer was Mimbulus Mimbletonia. The Mimbulus Mimbletonia plant secretes stink sap as a defensive mechanism when touched. The pepper up potion evolved from a remedy created by which 12th century wizard? Shit, Bowman Wright. Bowman Wright. That's incorrect. The answer was Limfrid of Stinchcombe. Centuries later, Glover Hipworth would expand on Limfrid's previous work to create the pepper up potion we know today. In The Wizard and the Hopping Pot, what does the elder wizard leave for his son in the hopping pot? Uh. <laughs> Shit. Uh, a smaller pot. No. A hopping pot. We've used one. Well, there's a conjuration for it. Basically, it gives you a random motion. Um, I have no idea. Is one? Probably a single slipper. I don't know. Let's Is go one. one. Incorrect. The answer was a single slipper. The story <laughs> was created by Beedle the Bard, but there are a few versions. I won't spoil what the slipper was for if you haven't read it recently. The Snallygaster is native to which region of the world? The fuck's a Snallygaster? North America. North America. And that's right. The part bird, part reptile, is a distant relative of the Okami and has serrated fangs and a bulletproof hide. Who is the Muggle Knight featured in the Fountain of Fair Fortune? The Sir Lancelot. Sir Lancelot. No, the answer was Sir Luckless. The three witches in the story are named Asher, Althida, and Amata. Oh, I adore a story that ends with a twist. The world's largest kelpie is also known by what other name? The Loch Ness Monster. I remember reading that somewhere. The Loch Ness Monster. Correct. The Office of Misinformation has worked diligently to discredit any muggle evidence of the kelpie's existence. Who was the first minister for magic? Uh, you a gem? Ultra at uh, the ever ready? No, it was. I'm trying to think. I don't remember. Uh, my first instinct was Gamp. You lit Gamp. Yes, Gamp's greatest legacy was the founding of the Department of Magical Law Enforcement. It outlawed the unforgivable curses. You've answered all of my questions. Ah, oh, it's nice to know there's another student who appreciates the value of knowledge. You might not have got very many right, but I'm sure you learned something regardless. Thank you for humoring me by participating. I had a splendid time. I put the book back on the pedestal for you. Revelia ought to make quick work of this. Got it. Professor Weasley's tasks are complete. I should attend Transfiguration. You should. Where is it? Yes, good, good. Wait, wait, hold on. That was it, right? Hold on. Map quest. Yes, locate all map. Should be down there. It's over there. Oh, that's right. It's in the courtyard. It's a one room by itself in that courtyard area. I got it, I got it. Well, chat, now you know I suck at trivia or Harry Potter. Unless it was in the movie. I've I did read the books. Travel broadens well, the mind. I listened to the books, audiobooks. Thank you. I heard Professor Weasley transfigured the book with all her test answers into an owl to stop him from eating. 
Taking owls a bit too literally, if you ask me. Oh god, a frame rate. It always does this when you're loading something or a cutscene. Beautiful. Goodness. Settle down. Settle down. Transfiguration, as you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you. Or it could just be my eyesight. Now, you all know what to do. Okay, just a swish. That's it. That's all it is. It's just a swish. Transformation. Beautifully done. Class is dismissed. And remember, now is not the time to ease off your studying. OWLs will be here before you know it. Wait. I just got credit for learning all spells, but I haven't learned all the spells. I call shenanigans. Or almost knickknacks. Hmm. Oh wait, no, that's not what I need. Hold on, that's gonna be Loomis. There, transfiguration. Then there. Puffskeen Dunkeen is still all I hear. You're quite close to Professor Fig, aren't you? I've always wondered about him. Never see him actually teaching. You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. And frankly, excelling in your schoolwork this year. Hmm, despite spending so much time on assignments. I'm glad to hear it. I'm not certain I needed all the extra assignments. And I'm certain you would not have been as successful without them. Now, it seems you've been making excellent use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. I've heard that you were able to grow a venomous tentacular. Growing such a magical plant is an accomplishment of which you can be quite proud. Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumors of your extracurricular activities. Were your meetings with Professor Black's house elf and exploration of various caves down by the lake connected in any way to Professor Fig? Um, yes. Professor Fig has encouraged me to explore when I can in uh, an effort to complete my field guide. I see. I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWLs. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well done. You are dismissed. If you wish to practice the spell you just learned, the training dummy is available. Mm. Glad to see you were paying close attention Thank to you. the demonstration. 
Wait, what? Sorry. Since you're visited. What? Huh? something about gobbledygook god why is his voice so booming but their voices were so low seems like an oversight sheesh i didn't catch any of that hold on uh, it's all gobbledygook lord gog has asked me to meet him at a goblin mine south of hogwarts and asked that i bring someone who speaks gobbledygook okay a uh, meat speaks gobbledygook. Gotcha. And Sebastian at the Overlook Mine. Sebastian is awaiting near the entrance of the Overlook Mine to the nearest of Upper Hogsmeade. That's where I'm going to learn my next uh, forbidden curse. So, of course, that's the one I'm doing next. Uh, so. With that said, though, it's getting kind of late here for myself. I'm getting sleepy. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to go ahead and save the game right here. And I'm going to be ending stream. However, before I end, though, I need to check and make sure that any of my friends that are running right now, if they would be okay with a raid. Uh, hmm. No, not exactly. No, so. But I do need raid, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a raid. Uh, with that said, if you haven't yet, go ahead and follow me so you get the notifications of when I'll be streaming again. If you're watching this over on YouTube, go ahead and uh, like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification. It really helps me out a lot. If you want, leave a comment. Let me know where I messed up or that I'm an idiot. Doesn't matter. Appreciate it. So, with that, we're gonna go ahead and get the raid thing started start it and we're going to start reading and three viewers you ready to go all right read now boom 